A threat was made, a school reacted, and parents say they're satisfied by the response. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. A meeting to address a threat made by a student brought up small turnout tonight, but school officials have reason to be okay with that because parents we spoke with say they're happy with how the situation was handled. Senator Maine's Sean Stackhouse fills us in on what else came from tonight's meeting. Yeah, it was actually, it was a relief to have everybody back. Students were back in the classroom at Casco Bay and Portland Arts and Technology High Schools Thursday. I think everybody felt really good about, you know, as far as information. Tonight, the school opened its doors to parents and students to discuss the jarring news they faced this week, that a threat was made against their school. And it was a fake gun, but it was a very realistic looking um, BB gun and fake gun. Casco Bay's principal, the district superintendent, and Portland's chief of police all there to answer questions after the school was closed on Wednesday, after social media threats against students were reported to the school and police. Likely, um, something is maybe more bluster than substance, but we have to take that bluster super seriously in 2019. Parents Thursday saying the school and the police department handled the situation in the best way possible. You know, for me, it's the impression that the child has and my child felt really good today um, and safe. Which made students' transitions back even easier. We felt a little bit more at ease, I'd say. The kids had a chance to debrief and connect with one another so that then they could turn their attention to learning again. And the school could focus on moving forward. It's definitely a process and it impacts every kid differently. And it's about knowing each kid and knowing what they need and being there for them. And folks in this room say that's exactly what the school did and hope they continue to do. In Portland, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. As for the teenager facing felony charges for making those threats, Police say he's been released into the custody of his parents and is barred from Casco Bay High School property.